One of the most important things that can determine whether or not a customer views a product in your Shopify store is your product image. When browsing your store, your product image will be one of the first things customers see. So you want to make sure the images you use for your products are eye-catching and attention-grabbing. But on Shopify, not only can you add images to your products, but also other media like videos and 3D models as well. In this video, we'll be going over various tips and tricks to help improve your product media to get more clicks. So let's head over to Shopify and go over how to add and optimize your product images and other media. So once you get to Shopify, go ahead and log in. You'll then be taken to your Shopify dashboard. Here's where you can view your analytics, update your theme, and of course, manage your products. If you haven't joined Shopify yet, make sure you click my link in the video description to unlock your free trial. So to update my product media, we first have to head over to the products menu. To do this, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click the products tab. This will take you to a page where you can view all the products that you've added to your Shopify store. For this example, let's select my men's classic tee. This will take me to the product page where I can edit my product listing. Underneath your title and description, you should see a section that says media. Here's where you can add the images, the videos, and other media for your product. Your product image is the first thing shoppers see when browsing products, making it one of the most important elements of your product page. It has to be eye-catching, attention-grabbing, and entice people to actually want to click. This is an area you really want to spend some time on and try to get the best media for your product as possible. On Shopify, not only can you use photos for your product images, but also add videos and even 3D models. Your images can be any size up to 5,760 by 5,760 pixels or 20 megapixels and need to have a file size smaller than 20 megabytes to be added to Shopify. You can add up to 250 images and videos to your product media, but that may be a little overkill. Your product images are extremely important, so you want to make sure to take the highest quality photos possible. If you're taking the photos yourself, feel free to use a DSLR camera if you have one, but if not, the camera on your smartphone is just fine. The key is to have good lighting, which can be achieved by using daylight bulbs, some inexpensive LED lights from Amazon, or simply some sunlight from a window. If you have a smaller product that you're selling, you can get some really good shots by using a light box to take your photos. You can get them for under 50 bucks on Amazon and they'll really come in handy if you need quality images for multiple products. In my opinion, this is probably the best way to take your product images, but if all this sounds too much and you have no interest in taking photos, you could simply hire a local photographer to shoot some shots for you. Or maybe you have a friend that's into photography that you can borrow for a day to help you with your images. And keep in mind that you can also add video clips, so I highly recommend adding at least one video clip of your product. Video clips are a powerful way to give customers a better connection with your product and have been proven to increase conversion rates. So you've taken some quality photos, but we're not quite done yet. After taking your photos, you also want to take the time to edit them to improve the quality and highlight your product. Unless the background of your image is relevant to the product, I recommend removing it to provide a much cleaner look. Removing the background makes your product stand out so the customer can focus on the product and not its surroundings. Whenever I want to remove a background from an image, I always use Canva. With the Canva background remover, you can easily remove the background from your images with a single click. So now that I've edited my image and removed the background, let's head back over to Shopify and upload it to my product page. To upload your images and your videos to your Shopify product page, go ahead and click the Add button in the Media section here. You can then find and upload your new media. You can rearrange your media by simply clicking and dragging them to whatever order you wish. Keep in mind that whatever photo you put in the first slot here will be your main product image. To delete an image, simply click the checkbox in the top left, then go up to Delete File. You can then click Delete and the media will be removed. When uploading a video, it may take a few minutes to process, but once it's finished, you should be able to preview it from the menu here. For all of your product images and your videos, you also want to make sure to add your alt text. Your alt text improves accessibility on your site and can help with your SEO by telling search engines what your image is about. Make sure to clearly describe your image and try to include some keywords. So now that I've edited, uploaded, 
and rearranged my product media, let's scroll back up to the top of the page and click the save button at the top right. The product media for my men's classic tee has now been updated. So let's head over to the product listing on my Shopify store and check it out. So here's the product page for my men's classic t-shirt. The first image we see here is the main image that I selected. As you can see, removing the background makes it stand out much more. You can also see the other product media that I uploaded underneath my main image. Not only did I add images to my product media, but also a video as well. If you want to use a video for your product media, make sure you select the theme that allows it. Also, if your product has several variants, like my t-shirt's different colors and sizes, then you may want to add a different image for each variant as well. To do this, we have to go back to edit the product listing from our Shopify dashboard, then scroll down to the variants section. You should have at least one photo uploaded for each variant to show the differences. Not necessarily one for each size, but definitely one showing each color that you offer. If you click the photo icon beside your variants, you'll be able to open up the variant image menu where you can select the image to use for that variant or upload a new image from your device. For all of my black variants, I think I'll change it to the new image we just edited. This will ensure the customer always sees the highest quality image no matter which variant they're viewing. To update them all in bulk, simply select the checkbox beside the ones you want to update, then click the three dots icon at the bottom tab here. This will open up a menu where you can select from all sorts of options to edit your variants. Since I want to update my image, let's click on Add Images. I can then select my new image that we uploaded earlier, and all of my black variants should be changed to my new image. Remember that your product media can always be changed at any time, so feel free to try out a few different things and see what works best. So that's a few tips and strategies on how to upload and optimize your product media. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.